Lesson three, basic food safety, a gate hospitality course. In this lesson, we will discuss in depth personal health and hygiene and the important role they play in food safety. Personal health and hygiene plays a critical role in food safety. In addition to putting others at risk by contaminating their food, you can personally face legal action against you for breaking the law related to personal hygiene. Most people carry food poisoning bacteria at one time or another, either in their nose, mouth, intestines, or on their hands. This is an especially high risk if you have any cuts or boils on your skin, or if you're feeling ill, especially if you have diarrhea. Food poisoning bacteria can be spread through sneezing, coughing, or just by touching ready-to-eat food. Your hands are the main route for transferring food bacteria. Before handling food, put on clean, protective clothing that covers any normal clothing that could come in contact with food. Cover your head with a clean hat or hairnet. Remove any watches, rings, or other jewelry. And wash your hands properly, paying a special attention to fingertips and fingernails. If you're not feeling well, and especially if you have diarrhea, a cold, or sore throat, discharge from the eyes, nose, cuts, boils, or other skin infections, or have been in close contact with a person having any of these symptoms, be sure to tell your supervisor immediately. If you are or have been ill, do not handle food until you receive medical clearance. Report to your manager immediately if your facility does not have waterproof dressing or other essential first aid items, or if there's no soap or hand drying facility. Report also if you need clean, protective clothing. When to wash your hands. Wash your hands before entering a food room, after using the toilet, after handling a dressing, after handling soiled cloth or clothing, after handling any contaminated packaging, after contact with an ill person, after cleaning up after an animal or pest, after handling raw food and before handling ready-to-eat food, after cleaning facilities, combing your hair, blowing your nose, after handling waste, and as often as possible throughout the day. Your hands are the primary path to food contamination. What not to do in a food room? No smoking, no biting fingernails, no chewing gum, no nail polish, no strong perfume or aftershave, no tasting with unwashed utensils, no blowing into a glass to clean it, no handling food if you are sick, and do not handle food or plates without cleaning your hands. What you must do in a food room. You must wash your hands properly before starting work. Cover cuts with a waterproof dressing. Keep your fingernails trimmed short and keep them clean. Remove any protective clothing when using the toilet or leaving the food premises. Turn away from food to cough or sneeze and then do so into your upper arm or shoulder. Wear strong, sensible shoes that are not slippery and use clean paper tissue to blow your nose. Then, of course, wash your hands as well. This is the end of Lecture 3. Please continue to the next lesson.